you guys good morning it is saturday which is the day i'm supposed to travel i'm leaving i'm holding this curtain open because the room is kind of dark and the curtains are closed so yeah i don't leave really anytime soon but i've just been watching some korean drama waiting because we finished all the parking and we are going to leave for the airport by around three or four because of traffic and the flight takes off by 11 but I need to be there by 8 9 for you know to check in my baggage my luggage so yeah that's what's happening and i'll update you guys later when you know, the real action starts right now everything's just calm and nice and but this is a new vlog right yeah hey guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me hi i'm martha and subscribe to join the family because and comment something down below because I read all of my comments. Tell them back up, click, 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 up. So we're about to leave. I just put on my outfit, and it's actually it's not it's not that it's not like fashionable or cute because I was going for comfortable something I can sit in a plane for six hours. Okay guys, so I'm done boarding. Boarding, checking my checking my my baggage is so now I'm about to board. I need to wait till 8 o'clock and it's just nice. Uh, still nice, sorry, and it's 8 28. So yeah. I was about to do now. It was really stressful. My waist is pain me. I'm so tired. But, but oh what it's because we're done now. Okay, so my mom and I decided to get something to eat because yeah we're hungry she looks so cute but after that it was time to board but i had to make a quick stop at the brush bro for some newer pics but i also peed so it wasn't like just for mirror pics but yeah i took some pictures with my family and they are my parents and it was time to board how's it go through security we had to like take off our shoes and everything oh my god so stressful and annoying but it was necessary and we got it done and it was time to board but i gave them my stuff and got my boarding pass and we had to wait a few minutes before like the actual boarding and getting on the plane started but yeah i want to show you my shoes they look really cute i don't know what that whole 
movement is but yeah it was finally time to board getting on the plane and I was nervous because I I don't know I just was kind of not really I don't know why I said that okay whatever So I finally got on the plane. I actually didn't have a window seat. The seat, my seat was next to the window, but I stole someone else's seat. But the view from up was so cute. Like this, the camera doesn't even do it justice. It was so beautiful. Like the lights were like stars. Like they're not stars from above that's how it was it was so pretty i was everything but anyways after a few minutes he served us food Ugh, i didn't eat anything here apart from the bread the oh my god i just could not handle it i'm still suffering from the ptsd till now but i was also watching it's so romantic yeah it was good recommend but then they served us snacks after a while and i guess it was okay only ate the pineapples but once again the view but after that, I took a nap and I woke up and decided to watch Coco again the view um this like especially this view the camera doesn't do any kind of justice whatsoever because it was such a good view like it was like a whole ass oh, I don't know how to explain but it was really good um then it was finally time we got out of the plane. It was actually shorter than I expected, but the air the airport was so big that we had to wait for a train to take us from where we got out of the plane to like the main airport. Like that wasn't even the main airport, like the main airport. Yeah, this is just me in the um no. And this is us going to the airport, having a view of all the planes and everything cute. And after that, I finally got to like where I was supposed to board my next plane. It was just a really hard flight that can like seven hours. Yeah, it's been like six hours now. It took me an hour to get here and then we got to see where it is. It's been like two hours. 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 It's been like two It's not nice. It's been like two hours. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but they changed our gates, so I'm in a different place than I was before. Um, I don't know, it was so last minute that they didn't even announce it. It was literally just some random guy that just came up to me and asked me if I was going to Canada. And I was like, yeah. They said that they changed the gates, and then I went to ask, and they did change the gates. So now I'm at B20, so I'll be 20 gates. And I'm like, why didn't they just announce it? Because what if that person didn't walk up to me? I probably would have missed my flights waiting at B28. Yeah, do better. Okay, it was finally time to board so I got my ass up and got on the plane and I was in the middle aisle but the plane was almost empty and there were like three extra rows so I got to go back and stay in the window seat which is pretty um, but then they served us food and it was okay I actually was watching Nemo Finding Nemo, which I had never watched before. Again, the view. Um, the food wasn't bad. I'm not gonna lie. 
I actually got to eat the pasta which was great because I was kind of hungry the pasta was not as bad as the last one this chocolate I tasted was really good like really good but I didn't like the dressing for the salad because the salad wouldn't have been that bad but the dressing just mm -mm, wasn't it so I couldn't eat that but besides the dressing I also ate at the bread and yeah that was all I ate the pasta and the bread and the chocolates and that was it decided to take it now but there was no one next to me so I just laid down on the chairs. Okay, so I'm not sure you can hear me because it's really rowdy and noisy. But I've been on the on the plane for like five hours now. I think it's what's the time? Okay yeah we've been on the plane for about five hours. We're flying over um, Canada at this point, but we hadn't gotten to like where in Canada we wanted to, but it was very, very cute. Later on, they served us our second meal, I believe, or snacks, whatever it was. But it was basically just this wrap, which was green for some reason, but I only just like had a little taste of the green dough whatever it is called and I didn't like it so I didn't eat it because I'm a very picky eater and I just can't eat anything that I don't like because I just can't
okay so we finally got off the plane and after this i went through immigration security um baggage claim and baggage check and then more security and then after that i was just playing the waiting game um i had to sit here with my stuff and wait for my brother but while I was waiting, there was all these people waiting in line to get their COVID test done. But because I was 17, I, like, I didn't I have to do it as an accompanied right? So that was such a spark because it, that, you know, that was so annoying. But yeah, he came, finally came to pick me up and we went home.